It's on the metro. It's in your face. It's at the grocery store. It's at the nightclub. It's at the, it's at the counter. It's everything where you go. I mean, all the guys are sagging now. All the guys are showing the shape and the shapely butts of their <laughs> Glee's Maximus. It's, 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 it's everywhere. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's insane. We're going to talk about the origin. We're going to talk about where it came from. And we're going to talk about why these guys are sagging so much here on Emoji Couture TV. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If it's hot, I'll say it's hot. But if it's a mess, baby, woo! This is an Emore J Couture exclusive. Okay, so there has been a phenomenon, a wave, a huge trend that has become a lifestyle. And this is what we call sagging. I said we like I'm a part of this. This is what they call sagging. Okay, now I want to talk to you guys about sagging if you don't know. I'm sure you've seen it. You've seen it at your grocery stores. You've seen it at your bus stops. You've seen it at the nightclubs. You've seen it at the pools. You've seen it everywhere you go at the parks. Hello, cruising. But you've seen it everywhere you go. Now, my thing is, when you ask yourselves, why do guys want to walk around showing their butts like this? I mean, let's just be real. Let's be honest because we're going to get real. I'm going to get into it. They might not like what I have to say, but it, I guarantee you subconsciously, even at the front of their foreheads, they know the truth. So when you see a lot of these guys sagging, they're showing their butts, correct? I mean, you they're wearing the briefs, they're wearing the boxer briefs, and it's showing the roundness, it's showing the plumpness, if they have it, of their behinds. And then you're left to think, okay, well, what real female actually, what real female do you know that as soon as she, that as soon as she sees a guy, she automatically turns him around or walks behind him to see his butt? I know that females do like a nice butt on a male, but that's not the first thing a male goes for. Naturally, when you think of some type of animal looking at a guy's butt, looking at a butt, it's usually the male that's looking at the behind. So you mean to tell me that when you're in groups of five in a pack with all men and most of all the guys are sagging that no other guy is checking out their friend? Come on, let's get real. Let's keep it, let's, let's be real about this. You guys are checking each other out. I don't care if you say, nah, dog, that ain't me, nah, son. Yes, sweetheart, little girl with the fat butt, that's you, sweetie. It's you checking each other out. I mean, we see it everywhere. Besides from being, you know, indecent exposure to the public, I mean, you have to understand the message that you're putting out there to people. Do you even know the origin of where this sagging came from? There are two places where it started off. This started off in prison, of course, that people know. Well, a lot, not many of them do know. They just think it came from rap videos and their coolest rappers are rocking this. Yeah, right. Well, it started off in prison pretty much as to where a lot of the prisoners couldn't wear belts and things to hold their pants up so the pants would begin to sag. Then in prison, a lot of the gay, yes gay, gay, yes gay, homosexual, yes homosexual, raving, craving, cocks and penis, yes, those kind of girls, they started to wear their pants below their bottoms because they wanted the other men to see them and to recognize it. Hence, once again, men do look at men's butts. So. This is where that origin came from, where the gay male prostitutes, well, the, the, the gay guys in the prison will wear their pants below their waist and things like that to show the shape of their behinds to get the other male prisoner, prisoners' attention. So, that's where that came from. However, that began to spill onto the streets. Now, it spilled onto the streets in two ways. One, within the rap videos and the rappers were doing this, they thought it was pretty cool to, so of course, take something else ignorant and make it even more popular, correct? So they took that from prison and just started to put it out there into the mainstream media as into what this is how these, um, I don't want to say black guys, it's not just black guys doing it, it's, uh, minorities are wearing it, but of course, you know, the white boys, they want to get down too now. So anyway, but then you have the gay prostitutes, the gay male prostitutes that, sweetie, I know closely, and the reason why they wore this was so that when they're walking on the streets at night, hello, street walkers and night walkers, they would show the shape of their butts with their underwear on to get the male's attentions when they're riding by in the car. So male prostitutes and gay, gay, gay prisoners would 
That would be their sign in prison to pretty much catch other males' attention. So now when you think of today, you don't think that's the same thing going on? I don't care how hardcore or how thugged out you think you are. Sweetie, when you're sagging, you clearly know what you're doing. I don't care if you're saying you're doing it for a style. Yeah, right. That's just like me walking around with a penis, penis necklace on the top of my neck saying, Oh, no, I'm just doing it for the style of it. But clearly there's no penis going anywhere near my mouth. Oh, please. Come on. What planet are we on again? Pluto? I don't think so. Earth, welcome back. So I'm telling you guys this, that these guys that are sagging, they know what they're doing. But the thing about sagging to me is it's not cute because nobody wants to sit here and see nobody's behind in their face. Okay, let me rewind that back to real quick. Now, I'm going to be honest about it. Sagging to me has its time and place. If I had a fine guy that, you know, was real hot and he walked around the house like that just for me and I, I could see him, you know, get something started, a little bit heated, I would enjoy that. But don't you take that to the streets as to where other people will see you and they will begin to judge you or they will begin to pretty much stereotype our people and say, oh, so this is how all black men dress. Yeah, look at those monkeys. Look at those jabuconizing porch monkeys. Yeah, look at those hood rats. That is not something that you want to put... Why would you want to portray yourself like that? I mean, your pants are literally on the ground. And then when you think about something really, really funny, how the media played you guys, is that when you look at the movie um, that the Wayans brothers did, it was called... Uh, what was that called? Uh, Don't Be a Menace in the Hood. Did you see the part where they had all the guys sagging and they were sagging solo that it was ridiculous? Now, see how subconsciously that really trans transpired into the real world, and this is how guys are really begin to look, begin to looking. I mean, it it it's it's funny how people don't see this as a sign of you know self hate, as a sign of you know you don't honestly really care about how you're putting yourself out there. You don't care about how you're being portrayed, and I don't care what you say. Is I don't care what nobody got to say. F what the people have to say. At the end of the day, you should care about how you carry and conduct yourselves. I mean, and let's be honest about this too guys because I, I hate when I walk past all the guys that sagging and of course I'm giving this hello Michael Jackson T's I'm giving this and all of a sudden they want to pull their pants up but yet it was okay for your homeboy to check out your butt but as soon as I walk past and don't get it twisted because I'm gonna be real honest with you if a female walk past and she's showing her breast her bosom her, and her butt you guys are gonna look so naturally me being a gay man when I see that a guy with his pants are sagging and he he's plump and I see that okay it's something there duh I'm going to look I'm going to look I may even snap a photo and put you on somebody's net and say hey look at the next piece I just saw look how you're conducting yourself look how people play you but yet you don't know what's going on ladies do not be fooled these guys know what's going on they know what the, they know the subliminal messages they're sending out to their friends they know the tea. They know what's on and popping. I guarantee you at night, better yet, at 11 a.m., they're in each other's rooms getting high, smoking that blunt and that marijuana, pulling those pants down, pulling out that piece, and going to town. Hello, goodbye. So clearly, I just want to break that down to you guys about the whole sagging process. So if you guys feel that you're sagging for the style of it, Pretty much you need to learn the origin of it and know where it came from and know what it's all about. And know what you're putting out there to the public. And honestly, it's not cute. You're playing yourself. You got played. This is Emoji Couture and I'm signing out. Yeah. Bow! You're so behind. You guys know my slogan and you know my quote. If it's hot, well, you know, hey, I'll say it's hot. But if it's a mess, you know the rest.